I lost 60 pounds and my life has been falling apart ever since. My dream growing up was to become a YouTuber, but I was a very insecure individual and from the lack of love for myself, I gained a lot of weight after high school. You may be asking yourself why I'm showing you guys the pictures of when I was at my thinnest. I wanted to show you guys where the problem started and believe it or not, it was here. My senior year of high school, I was weighing 163 pounds and I thought I had reached my heaviest and I thought I was so fat. I could say my body dysmorphia started in my heaviest weight, which was 244 pounds, but it didn't. It started at my lowest weight, 163 pounds, which honestly, even before. But let's just say it started then. My senior year of high school, I felt so fat and super down. I would constantly obsess over my body, go to the gym and take before videos so that when I reached my ideal body weight, I would have my after pictures. Only to document my progress, I ended up documenting my body dysmorphia. How much more weight I just kept gaining and gaining and I just kept gaining weight. I really thought I was at my heaviest weight, that I had completely lost myself and that I was going to start losing weight. I used to use filters on my face to look thin and I would get on diets to go back to my ideal weight only to gain more weight and to finally reach my heaviest, 244 pounds. I was very unhappy, but I knew that I had to change my habits. I knew there was something wrong. It's been seven years since I graduated from high school. I'm 24 years old and trying to pursue content creation. When I was at my heaviest weight, I hit rock bottom and couldn't get out. I tried diets, secret remedies, las pastillas de dietas, I tried fasting, I tried it all. I was listening to a podcast one day. It was a millionaire, I don't remember his name, I wish I would, but he said something like, you will get nowhere in life if you don't respect yourself. When you go to work and your boss asks you to do something, what do you do? You do it. Why? Because you respect him. He's your boss, he's your higher up, and so you do. However, you tell yourself you're going to do something and you don't. So someone else can ask you to do something and you do it, but... When you tell yourself you're going to do something you won't, don't allow that. Respect yourself. You say you're going to do something, do it. And if you don't, you're only hurting yourself, no one else. When I heard that analogy, it hit me so hard because I'm usually such a people pleaser and respect everyone who comes across me. And it really hurt me to find out that I respected everyone except myself. I knew I had to change my mindset in order to lose weight, so I did that. If I said I was going to the gym, I would 100% do it. If I told myself I would drink a gallon of water, I would make sure that gallon of water was finished by the end of the night. It started to become a little harder as I was becoming furious when it started being too much that eventually failed again. I was devastated. How is it that something I felt was going to work fell? I had the motivation. What happened? Well, I was setting unrealistic goals was the problem. I was being so hard on myself. 2020 came around and the whole body positivity movement started. You know, the have you eaten today videos on TikTok and be nice to yourself, etc, etc became trendy. Plus size women were posting these videos just as the smaller women were as well. I loved the movement but made me realize that I have never loved myself. I had never been comfortable in my own body. Even when I was at my th thinnest, my whole life I thought I was fat even before I gained all the weight. When I came to the realization that I couldn't respect myself because I didn't love myself, I knew doing those two things could be my way out. I thought to myself, all I need to do is love myself the way these women love themselves. The plus size community taught me that I didn't have to be skinny to be loved and I knew that if I learned to love myself and respect myself, I could get further than I ever have, so I gave it a try. My first step was to learn to not give a fuck and my challenge was announcing to my family that I was going to try to lose weight with just the power of my mind by being nice to myself. I'm sure they thought it was hilarious as I come from a traumatized traditional Hispanic family. 
My mom, of course, lectured me about how that doesn't make sense and that the only way to lose weight was to diet and drink detox teas or the diet pill. Hola, dieta secreta. I decided to put my foot down and I said, no mom, it's okay, I'm going to eat everything that I love, just not as much. However, someone who has never felt self-love was not going to understand that. And I had to be okay with knowing that I was never going to be able to change my mother's mindset unless she was willing to begin her self-love journey and learn to love herself. I won't be able to do that for her which was only a confirmation to me that it was the same for me. I will never understand things properly if I don't learn to love myself. I will continue to feel like the world is against me. I will continue to victimize myself and never understand the world all because I don't love myself. How can I expect my boyfriend to love me when I don't even know how to love myself? How can I love my boyfriend when I don't love myself? He is very good to me. During the time that I was at my heaviest, this man loved me and would always try to make me feel so loved and so beautiful. So as silly as it sounds, I've lost 60 pounds so far just with the power of loving myself and obsessing over myself. I knew I had to change my mindset. I knew I had to love myself in the skin I was in, the body I was currently in. And eventually, I started to see the numbers on the scale go down. I started off by staring at myself in the mirror and telling myself how beautiful I was. The first few times, I did ball out my eyes as I hadn't stared at myself in the mirror because every time I would look at myself, I wouldn't recognize myself. So as I'm looking at myself in the mirror, telling myself how beautiful I am, I'm not believing it. With tears rolling down my cheeks, it made me even more sad that I couldn't believe my love for myself. I'm not even sure if that makes sense, but I stuck to it and decided to continue to look at myself in the mirror so I can fall back in love with myself. I ended up running into a playlist on Spotify with only self-love music for example i'm sure you have all heard i'm so gorgeous 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 <laughs> but there's a lot of songs in that playlist and it obviously has the same message i would listen to this music all day during this time i was cleaning houses so i would get to the house put my headphones on and just listen to that playlist all day until I got off of work. And let me tell you, after a few weeks, I started to look at myself in the mirror and started to believe that I was beautiful. I knew that it wasn't the way I wanted to look, but I also knew that I was still beautiful and still deserved so much love. I knew that was my first step to loving myself, to have the strength to continue to love myself. Even with all my flaws, during this time, I started to go to the gym. It actually was during COVID. It was at the end of 2020. So we were wearing masks and honestly, it made me feel more comfortable being able to hide my face at the gym. It helped me feel less anxious. I don't know if it had to do with the fact that I would always be so paranoid to run into someone I knew from high school and them seeing me so much heavier than I was. And that was such a big fear of mine. So I think the masks really help with that. I would look at myself in the mirror every time I would work out and I would continue to hype myself up. Yes, I am so powerful, I am so strong, I am so beautiful, I'm so worthy of love. I continue to go to the gym, continued to eat everything I loved, just not as much. I was basically in a calorie deficit without knowing I was in a calorie deficit. I didn't count calories, I would just eat and stop eating when I felt full. Of course, at first it was hard, but it only started getting easier. I lost 7 pounds the first 2 weeks of me changing my mindset. I would look at myself in the mirror and be like, oh my gosh, you're so powerful. How the hell did you lose 7 pounds without doing anything? 
but going to the gym. This is the key. You found the secret. And I continued to do that. I started doing things I used to enjoy, like doing my makeup, making videos on TikTok, posting them, even though I was scared, but I honestly, at that point, loved myself enough to not care and reached the point that I loved myself enough to continue to push myself and still post. And those small little things is what made the biggest difference in my life. As I said before, I started my self-love journey at the end of 2020 and we are almost in 2024 so it's about to be 3 years and I've lost a total of 60 pounds which is basically about 20 pounds each year. Could I have lost that weight faster? Yes. But that was not my goal. My goal was to fall back in love with myself and to fall in love with the progress so I can learn a different lifestyle and not to just get on a diet to lose weight fast and then gain it all back within a month or two because I never learned to eat, I never learned to love myself because I never had a good relationship with food and that's how I realized that I was falling in love with myself because I no longer cared so much about the outside of my body and I started caring more about my mental health and inside my thoughts and my beliefs. I was no longer looking for videos on how to lose weight fast because I knew those weren't real. I knew my problem was within myself. However, I do have different goals now. I want to gain muscle, which means I need to start counting my calories so that I can have the correct amount of protein. I honestly wish I would have done this during the time that I was losing weight. I wish I would have focused more on gaining muscle versus losing fat because I could have gotten where I wanted to a bit sooner just because I didn't do enough research. However, I'm okay with it because like I said before, I'm glad that I've fallen in love with the progress and the journey. Lately, I've been feeling very down and low and I know exactly why. I got comfortable where I was in my progress and stopped doing everything that I knew was helping. I stopped my morning affirmations. I stopped talking to myself. I kind of just went back to only going to the gym and not eating as much. And although I haven't gained weight, I do feel different. I feel ugly, I feel fat, I feel unsatisfied with the weight I've lost, I feel unloved, and of course I feel this way. I got out of my routine. Although I do think it's normal to feel those feelings once in a while, I've been feeling this way a little too often, which is why I'm going to get back into my routine. But with that being said, your mental health is the most important. Because how is it that when I had only lost 30 pounds, I felt the most beautiful and super healthy. And now that I've lost another 30 pounds, you'd think I'm happier because I look thinner. When in reality, I've been feeling the opposite. Because even though I've continued to work out at the gym and not eat as much, I haven't been doing any of the inner work. Let this be a reminder that your mental health is the most important of all. I will also eventually start looking for a good surgeon to get my loose skin removed as I don't have a lot of loose skin yet but I know I will since I can tell my stomach is hanging. The last picture and video on this video that you guys are seeing are from July so I do have updated pictures from me going to the gym but this video is already long enough so I will save it for the next video. Measuring myself and weighing myself so that I can do monthly check-in with you guys showing you guys my progress 2024 will be my year. I'm claiming it now. I will be posting content as it's always been what I wanted to do 2024 will be the year of chasing after everything I've always wanted but been too scared to go after I'm thankful for everything I've been through I've been doing videos on TikTok to get comfortable speaking in front of the camera as I know this is something I've always wanted to do. Les Brown once said, You have greatness in you and in order to demonstrate that greatness, you've got to become a risk taker. You've got to reach outside of your comfort zone. 
because in order to do something you've never done you gotta become someone you've never been when you become a risk taker god said if you're not willing to risk you cannot grow and if you cannot grow you cannot become your best and if you can't become your best you cannot be happy if you can't be happy what else is there it's necessary to know that everybody won't see it that everybody won't join you that everybody won't have the vision it's necessary to know that a lot of people like to complain but they don't want to do anything about their situation that you are uncommon breed wanting something is not enough you must hunger for it your motivation must be absolutely compelling in order to overcome the obstacles that will inevitably come your way. If you want a thing bad enough to go out and fight for it, to work day and night for it, to give up your time, your peace, your sleep for it, if all that you dream and scheme is about it and life seems useless and worthless without it, if you gladly sweat for it and fret for it, it and plan for it and lose all your terror for the opposition for it if you simply go after that thing you want with all of your capacity and strength and faith hope and confidence strength if neither cold poverty famine nor gut sickening nor pain of body and brain can keep you away from the thing that you want with the help of god you will get it you guys, it's taken me a while to edit this video. It was over two hours and I was able to bring it down to 20 minutes. So I hope you guys enjoy it. It's been a pleasure being able to see my progress because, you know, I still have kind of body dysmorphia. I still look at myself in the mirror sometimes and I see the girl that was 244 pounds and to go through these videos and see my whole progress it just I cannot be happier right now I don't give myself enough credit and I need to change that which is why I want to continue to make these videos and film my journey so I can show you guys how I do change my mindset uh, even though sometimes it can be very hard but I am not falling back into the old me i will not fall back into not valuing my time and not valuing my own love i am done taking myself for granted i will not be doing that no more and i'm just really really happy if this video can at least help just one person i will already feel so accomplished and if it doesn't help anyone at all this is me being my number one fan to myself because like i said this is a learning progress you guys and i will at the end of all of my journey i will forever be my number one fan because that's the way i want it to be and you should be your own number one fan i promise i'll get better at editing <laughs> And now I want to share with you guys the rest of my journey. I want to show you guys my progress on my muscle gain and how to continue to stay in the self-love journey just because believe it or not, there's still very hard days because I am not going to give up. I will follow my dreams. I will meet my goals. I will not stop. I'm going to follow my dreams, I'm going to start posting lifestyle content, and of course videos about my journey, and honestly just the progress of me figuring it out because although I've lost 60 pounds, I still kind of don't know what I'm doing at the gym. If you guys want me to film a video answering your guys' questions, write them down below in the comments, or you can also DM me if you don't feel comfortable commenting. But please make sure to give this video a like, to subscribe to my channel so that it motivates me to even go harder for you guys. Oh, I feel like I've been waiting so long to say this, but please like, subscribe, and comment down below. Have a great day, you guys. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.